Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is another challenge organized by Dina Tulafson. Theme for this is, the sky is the limit. Big thanks to Dina for hosting these fun events. Do check out her channel in the description below. She's got amazing artworks and useful techniques to showcase. For this painting, I thought of something a little simple to allow the texture to shine through. I love seeing clouds in the paintings, photographs, and I used to wonder if clouds tasted like cotton candy when I was a child. I remember sitting on my first flight as a little girl by the window seat, and all I wanted to do was to stick my hand out of the plane to touch the clouds and taste it. Well, that plan never materialised. I tend to have this habit to google the symbolism of certain paintings after I actually complete it. Reason number one, I need inspiration to write the voiceovers. Reason number two, I'm a serial googler and I enjoy learning about little bits of things here and there, which sometimes also allows me to see my own creation in a different light. After all, they say, our subconscious plays a part in the creative process of our art. So what exactly do clouds symbolise in art? Does it represent something specific? Here's a few things that clouds have represented in art history, and my own interpretation of clouds in art. Like most symbolism and representations in art, there's no one straight answer. The meaning of clouds in art has probably changed a lot throughout time, as ideologies and human opinions are constantly evolving. In Romantic Era paintings, clouds represented the turbulent and ever-changing nature of inner states. Feelings, emotions, thoughts. Clouds can in this sense represent the passing and fleeting nature of time, thoughts and perception. On the more technical side of things, clouds have also been used in traditional art to suggest scale, orientation, weather conditions and distance. So clouds have also been used as the technique to portray aerial perspectives and scales. Then, there's also the ever-present connection between art symbolism and religion. In traditional Chinese arts, for example, clouds can be seen as the middle space between earth and heaven where gods and other immortals would exist. Clouds could then also work as vehicles of which gods and immortals could use to travel between realms of reality. In Eastern mythology, they believed clouds were created by the dragon's breath, which is associated with qi or the life-giving breath. Dragons are associated with storm clouds and rain. Is this why I love the rain? In many old western paintings of gods and other holy figures, you can also find them surrounded by clouds, example, angels. So while I was on a Google search spree on the topic about clouds, I've also learned that different types of clouds have various symbolisms on our daily life. Clouds represent strength, most especially when it's coloured white. This symbolises inner consciousness and inner strength. Grey and gloomy clouds are hints of turbulence and trouble ahead, which is a little typical. But just like how fast the cloud changes, nothing stays forever, both good and bad. Since clouds are made out of water and air, the water represents clarity and purity. Meanwhile, the air means wisdom. A mix of both can represent a clear mind, knowledge and wisdom. Also, lightning through clouds means experiencing motivation and inspiration to do something. Clouds can also symbolise mystery and secrets. As it covers up the sun, things in the background becomes invisible and all you can see are the clouds. For a long time, the sky and space was unavailable for human reach, and so clouds represented a space that we did not know much about. In more recent times, however, since the development of science and commercialized air travel, clouds and the sky isn't as mysterious to us anymore as it once was. When I first painted this, I honestly didn't think too much about it. For me, clouds are like a little dream where destination cloud 9 resides. There wasn't heavy symbolism involved, maybe just one or two subtle meaning behind the piece, but I did have a fun read on this data overload about clouds. Anyway, I hope you guys like this simple but dreamy piece. Hence, without further But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew
I wish I knew.